We've got a fun-filled day planned with a kayaking and hiking adventure, the best shave ice I have ever had, and some exotic fruits at the local farmer's market. Without further ado, let's get started. This morning, I checked out of my Airbnb in Princeville and drove about 20 minutes down here to Wailua. We're gonna take some sea kayaks out and paddle about an hour down the Wailua River into the state park. We'll then get out and hike about a half an hour in or about a mile to see the spectacular Wailua Falls. Oops, did I say Wailua Falls? I meant Uruvehi Falls. It's only a 10 minute drive from the kayak outfitter to the Wailua Park launching platform. And in no time, we're off on a river adventure. The views are just incredible. Here's the pull-up point for our on-land portion. So we've parked our kayak and we're gonna now hike in to the falls. Wading into the dense vegetation, it's so amazing how lush and varied Kauai's rainforests are. Overhanging the trail is a tangle of mini bamboo. There's a couple of fun river crossings. The first one is the widest and deepest. Good thing I got the waterproof pants. For the rest of the trail, we follow the river upstream and the bamboo gives way to a giant mangrove trees, ferns, and hibiscus plants. Look how clear the stream is behind me here. This tower used to monitor the water height. We're getting closer to Uluvehi Falls and here's a couple of mini waterfalls to whet your appetite for the main event. Which is just over this ridge. That's where we're headed. And here we are. So gorgeous. A quick snack break. Of course you gotta have your ubiquitous chicken here. And then it's time to go in for a quick dip. The water is chile, and the force of the falls is enormous. There's a constant spray. And right when it gets good, the tropical rains shower down on us. It's awe-inspiring seeing the rainforest in all of its natural glory. Before long, we're back at the kayak landing and headed back to civilization. And this is a river we just paddled down this morning. Gorgeous. In Kapa'a Town is the best shave ice I have ever had. Walua Shave Ice is located in a permanent food truck here on Kuhio Highway, which is the main drag that encircles the entire island of Hawaii. It's located in between a bike rental shop and a nuke shop. The ice is different here. It's super fine, like snow, rather than your typical ice chips. And the syrups here are made fresh with local ingredients. But it's not only that, you'll be surprised to learn that one of the owners, Brandon Baptiste, was formally trained at the Culinary Institute of America and studied under Thomas Keller, one of the most famous restaurateurs in America. And he definitely elevates his ice with ingredients like hopia or coconut foam. I've already been here once before. I came up on my way from the airport and already had the dragon's blood, which was made with a dragon fruit and pineapple syrup and then drizzled with local honey. Delicious. Unlike other shave ice places where you kind of mix and match the syrups and toppings, they've got pre-made creations and there's about like 10 here. And you should definitely ask them for specials that they may not have on the menu, like they've got green tea right now. I got the lava flow, check this out. There's pineapple syrup down here, and this is the hoi pia, or the coconut foam, and then it's drizzled on top with strawberry puree and pineapple chunks. Oh, and I see strawberry chunks there too. Let's give this butte a try. Oh, so yummy. That pineapple syrup is so intense just got this burst of flavor. Delicious with that mouthfeel of the soft uh, Hopia 
foam, so creamy. And then there's this fabulous tartness from the strawberries. I love it. This just might be my new favorite. So here's a quick pro tip. There's only two tables out front here, but if you go around to the back, look, all the space you could want. The produce here in Hawaii is very unique and many of the fruits and vegetables you will not find on the mainland. So it's kind of a fascinating experience to visit the farmer's market. The biggest market is located in Lihui at the Kauai Community Center and it's only hosted on Saturdays starting at 9.30 a.m. They're about to open some fun. Let's go and check it out. The flowers here are super exotic. Check out these gorgeous ginger blooms and this is a banana blossom. Southeast Asians eat banana blossoms here as an aromatic as they do ginger and lemongrass. P.S. or Belimbi are a sour fruit most often used in curries and pickles in Malaysia and the Philippines. It's cool. These are apple bananas. So she gave me one of her apple bananas to try. It's good. Tastes like a banana, just a little tartar. These are soursops, a custardy fruit from Central and South America. Here's the sugarloaf pineapples. These are huge pomelos, and I believe these are jackfruit here. And these here are calamansi citrus. They're kind of like limes. Delicious. There's star fruit and rambutan. Plantains for cooking. And she said this is a fruit here called chico, which is very, very sweet. These are new. Wing beans are prepared much like string beans. And of course, you gotta have your macadamia nuts. You gotta try all the free samples. My purchase for the day. Young green coconuts are delicious. Here he's scooping out the cream after draining the coconut water or juice. My friends from Hole in the Mountain Farms. I came specifically for their amazing pineapple frosty, which is pure and simple. Frozen chunks of sugarloaf white pineapples run through a champion juicer. The taste is phenomenal and it's so refreshing. Best damn frosty ever. And there's a whole aisle of food for you to sample in case you don't have a kitchen in your hotel. I'm so excited. I wanted to go to this place in Hanalei and it's awesome that it's here at the farmer's market. That's what the fresh taro looks like. Make all sorts of delicious products out of it. Poi, which you're probably familiar with. And they've got hummus here. And this is a taro dessert and a mochi cake. <laughs> this is actually what I was looking at. Check out this fried banana stand, skewered banana slices hot off the grill. Hawaiian cuisine is an awesome fusion of Polynesian and Asian cuisine. Lots of Korean kimchi and a Filipino purple yam pudding and fried rolls. And I finally arrived in Poipu Beach. Check it out. So gorgeous. Mahalo for joining me today on my epic Hawaii adventure. Ahui ho'u and see you next week in San Francisco. Till next time. Peace out.